Welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell. Shop well. Shop Quicksell. You got that? Okay, so we got all the mechs back. So today I think what I want to do... I was humming and hawing last episode whether or not I was going to take a, the uh, mixed bag of pilots and pull off uh, one of these missions here. I thought about taking the two and a half skull base defense. And then I spotted this guy right here. This is against the local government. And it looks like there's a lance that's moving around, causing problems for these guys. Battle in the urban environment. I think we could probably take this as a mixed bag of pilots. And what we'll do is we'll take the, pro the secondary lance's vehicles. And I'll have to fill it out with the mixed bag of pilots. So we're going to go full salvage, obviously, because we get some good money out of this. And some good salvage. Hopefully we can pick up something good. And hopefully we're going to find some quick sell stuff. I doubt it, but you never know. So we're going to leave Jenkins in. He's going to command the Lance. And then we'll leave... I think Big Texas is going to come as well. But we'll move her down there. Ripley's going to come out. We're going to leave the Inferno truck in, I think. And what we'll do is we'll run Venom with the where are you here cloud buster and then we're going to bring down the main lance i'm going to run jenkins in the centurion because we have this here control burst which, which drops well minus one recoil continuously but or sorry uh, when i use it i get minus one recoil minus 20 percent jam multiplier so that's really going to help out with the um, rotary ac2 pirate then we'll bring down uh storm crow the stealth and the Talos. Now, Big Texas will run in the Talos. Uh, Vision, we're going to bring in the Storm Crow. Vision's already got one mission, I think, off in the Storm Crow, or three, so it's not bad. And then Road Rash, of course, is going to be in the Stealth. Now, I think she's got like 20 missions or something on the Stealth. Yeah, 20, 23 missions in the Stealth already, so she's already getting some good uh, XP. I think she got the first level, which gives her. Plus one active ECM, I think, for this guy. Is it? Minus 15% signature invisibility, plus one local ECM. Yeah, so she's harder to see, which is awesome, which means we can push the stealth a little bit closer in some of the fights, which will be nice. Talos, I don't know, I'm not expecting marvelous things from this thing today, only because we don't have the best pilot in it, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, the Centurion, I'm hoping we get better results out of this thing this turn. Or this match. Alright, let's hope we don't get killed. Yeah, I know, it's got some unused tonnage. Alright, well, here we go. Apparently they're right out in the open in the middle of the city. We'll see if that's actually the case, and we'll see if they've actually got reinforcements. That's more so what I'm worried about. Uh, we don't... Okay, that's the edge of the map. Looks like they're... I mean, the, the enemy could spawn at any point in time. If they're not here, they're not here. But, yeah, I think we're pretty clear. So, if they're in that area, most likely spread out across this way. Uh, I'm going to drop here. Hopefully, we can catch one lone mech somewhere up here. And take advantage of that. Uh, and if we can do that, that's awesome. If it ends up not being the case, well, that's fine too. But if we can get somebody out in the open, that'd be great. Kill them quickly. Hopefully they've only got four. Four medium mechs would be nice. Now, the question is, do they go first and then we're going to turn three yeah round three okay turn 15 oh man what do we got striker this is a two skull why am i getting such garbage yes commander defenders um i'm confused 
Get into here. Roger. We we'll dropped some tra some chaff on somebody here. Ah, oh, GM. So the R80 with a snub. It'd be nice to pick that up. LRM10. So there's a lamb. Oh, clan pulses. Drop some chaff on this guy. Tag barrage. I mean, it's not going to matter. He's not going to shoot us, but... Nothing. Negative damage. I mean, I guess I should have dropped on the LRM-10. Whatever. Pegasus. Probably SRMs in the Pegasus or medium lasers. SRMs and medium lasers with, like, nothing in it. Commander. Well, they might get reinforcements. On it. Let's hope they get reinforcements. I got the mine dispenser. I think I'll just leave it off for now. Yeah, we're good. Not going to fire the thunderbolt until we get a nice direct line of sight. We can hammer somebody with it. Well, if this one goes quick, I might take that one skull difficult mission with the same lance then. So if it is just these guys, I'll take the second mission as well. I may even scrap this one. I don't know yet. And not just show you. I'll just tell you what happened. Or I'll just show you the end. Christ, if I gotta chase these guys across the map too. If I gotta chase them across the map, I'm gonna make sure it's the Centurion yeah. that blasts them into oblivion. Okay, we're not going full speed, but we'll get up to here just so we're covered. What's up, boss? Okay, big Tex. On the move. Full Alright. Warfare Sweet QS protected. 12. I don't know. So let's go one with... What do we got? Sensors, regular, and Hydra. Hydra's useless at the moment. So let's go reg well, regular... Regular. Regular. We'll find the best chance to hit here. 10 and 12. 10 and 12. You got 555 armor. Let's just fire it there. We might hit the urban mech as well. Well, three points. I'm receiving you. They're beating us in damage so far. Let's just get up to here. Copy that, Commander. Get ourselves in a position that we can uh, fire our next turn if we get a chance. They will be done. All right, Jenk. Um, let's get up to here. Acknowledge. We got some LRMs as well. We might as well fire those off. How much ammo do we have? Not much though. LK and what? EMP and incendiary. I got six turns of LK. Let's go after the striker. Got the angle. Making the shot. Oh yeah, better. Alright, three hits. Somebody's got jump jets. Ready for orders. Well, that's not bad. Let's get into there. Confirmed. I think we're going to go for the close target. That's still not bad there, though. Not as good here, though. What's the SRM bringing us? Not a lot. Alright, well, we might as well fire on this guy and use some chaff. I guess because we're firing from behind, he doesn't get any kind of evasion bonus or anything. So let's do that. Oh, nice. The big one hit. Okay, got some chaff on there to screw up his LRMs a little bit, which I probably should have done in turn one, but you know me. He's going on 14, he goes before us. I really hope it is just these four. It should be pretty quick then. 
And I think we should be able to handle that one skull lance, maybe, with good mechs and good pilots. At one skull, though, you never know what you're going to be up against. I mean, that last mission against the pirates, we had, I think it was a few episodes ago. That was brutal. Could, I mean, that, that, we could end up be, being like that, too, but at least we have the stronger mechs, right? I think that... Oh, they're all going on 14, that's why. The lamb probably figuring out where to go first. Yep, here he comes. Just going to sit there. All right, you do you, buddy. Yeah, I kind of missed the way the old lambs worked. Just having the massive jump. Because I find the AI actually used that. Do they think they can hurt me? Now it's the AI's sketchy and it's used to the lambs. It's like oh, half of the time they just sit still. You know, or oh, they'll fly in and, and, and melee you and then they just sit there. Or they just, you know, they don't do... I, I'm interested to see what this guy does this match, but for the most part they don't uh, take advantage of their flight. Whereas those long range jumps, like if you made it... Barely hit, Amanda. If you made special jump jets that didn't add to instability for lambs, Receiving you. I don't know how you do that, but... That would be the ultimate. Then they could jump pretty much anywhere. And then that's their that's them flying to wherever they're going. Right? And then they land and fight. Alright, uh that was actually Okay. I saw fifty five and I think it was against one of these buildings, yeah. Like that's a lot. Six don't know what this guy's for. Well, eight's not bad. I don't know. Let's take that. On target. I want. I mean, the lamb is really the one we're going to get uh, the most stuff out of. I mean, the bonus of the. Uh, the QS LRMs, like if you got ammo like sensors, it really spreads it around. Like it really does a good job spreading the sensors around. Yep. So there's a massive bonus right there. All right, let's. Uh... Get into here. Going full throttle. I'm hoping to kill this guy this turn. That's why I'm not. Uh... Worried about where this guy's going. I want him behind the building too because we're going to open up on him. I don't want him to get hit. So let's turn this to five. Oof, nice damage. Good to go. I think that 60 was against one of the buildings though. Right, we're just going to walk it up here. Coordinates received. Let's hope for some quick kills on this guy. Hammer him. Here it comes. Live to serve. See ya. Primitive. All right. I'm not going to use the uh, thing on turn one, but we're going to leave it on three, I think, for now. And I'll drop recoil next turn if needed. Um, we got our own guy in the area, so I'm going to have to turn these off for now. Otherwise, they'll splash over. I don't think the rotaries will hit because of the wall here, but the, the LRMs probably for sure will. Alright, pilot hit. Ooh, that hit something good. Commander? Alright. Let's punish. Let's punish! Yeah, that's pretty good. There we go. Target down. If they stick their nose out, we punish. And we punished. Oh, he's sticking his nose out. Time to take it clean off. Where are you? Here. 
Mm, I don't think we can get a shot, not for a couple turns anyway, not from where we are. Yes, Commander. All right, let's get here. Maybe we can kill that vehicle if I go all out here. I want to shred this urban mech, but... Yeah, we still don't have quite the... Uh, good chance to hit, so we'll just fire these. I'm just going to go with LK. Firing. The lab's the thing I really want to get the most stuff off of. i got to watch out. I think there's a... Uh, yeah, there is right here. Got to watch out for that. What's up, boss? Okay, you can move in front of him. I mean, it's not good to line up like this, but... It's a striker. Plus, I want him dead. Uh, let's leave the chaff on. In all Ooh, lasers hit. A little bit more chaff, nice. Oh, he's finally moving. He's moving away. What's up, boss? How far can you get up here? Oh, you can get right up here, too. Let's line it up. Acknowledged. Because <laughs> why not? Let's give them a great shot at us. Gotta make it a fair fight. Don't we? Oh, he's indirect. Oh, damn. Well, that's no good. I thought it was... Uh... Standing by. Wasn't watching again. Story of my life. Well, that's a back shot. 32% though. I bet you it's better when I get up there. Let's get up there and take a shot at it. Cloud Buster's got some pretty good armor, so I'm not that worried about this, uh... This guy. Yeah, much better. Take this. He what is unsettled. Oof, not quite enough, eh? Ooh, we can get him from here, though. That puts their, uh... I gotta go here. Got We're able to move out after that. Running. That just puts him in, in... If I go there, that puts him in uh, a susceptible position to the uh, lamb. The lamb might take advantage of it, come back. I mean, then we can round the corner and get him, but... Good to go. Ooh, that's not bad. Let's walk it up here. On the move. Cloudbuster's a little close, but I think I'm willing to take this shot. Uh, yeah, I think we go that route. And let's put the rocket on. The single 20. We'll save these guys for the other guy. Double AC5's up. Yeah, that should probably do it. Ooh, the Ultra 5 hit, or the Double 5. Pull right side That's gone. Good. Snub's gone, damn it. SRM. We can grab this guy and salvage too, hopefully we get the snub off that. I still have, I think I got four Urban Mech parts. Of ver uh, different varieties. One of them I think is actually this version, so if we can get two pieces of this guy... We can assemble it without having to pay any money. And I have been noticing if you assemble the full mech out of the three pieces, is generally you get better... Um, you get more gear when you repair. So I want to try and do that more often. Receiving you. I generally don't give a crap most of the time about stuff, but I'm, I'm going to try and start. I'm not promising anything, but I'm going to try and start. All right, do you have anything that's threatening? One energy. Oh, let's just take him out. I don't want to do too, too much damage. That should probably be enough. I got the whole thing. Whatever. Target neutralized. Ready for orders. I don't think there's any way out of, of not doing a lot of damage to that guy. All right, that lamb. Let's 
Let's get up to here. I copy. This will be able to fire straight this time. Not going to worry about the lamb just yet. Uh, let's go with the Thunderbolt. Maybe we get lucky on it. And I'm gonna, we're not going down there so far. They're my dispenser as well. Firing all weapons. It's on now. Yeah. How badly damaged is he? Oh, he's still... Oh, yeah. Hit, shoot for the side. Hit the back. Yeah? Well, you can't go all the way up there yet. But we can get you into here. Ah, uh, if I do that... Oh, we could get a side shot at that guy. Let's go up to here. We'll get some speed and maybe we kill this guy. We're out of the minefield, so it's fine. Yeah, it's a pretty good chance to hit. We'll fire it. Here we go. Oof. And this fire truck. How did that taste? White si right side wheels destroyed. M more like melted. They're stuck to the pavement. He's going on 12, then he goes on 11. Where do we go? Where are you, 10? Oh, you're 12. So at least this lamb will get a chance to move first, and then we can hopefully paste it with a centurion. I'll go all out. It's the bad thing about this lance. Other than the storm crow, we really don't have that much pinpoint. It's all scattered, so it's hard to, like, pull legs and stuff. I can worry about that later when we get uh, more advanced pilots. Come on, Mr. Lamboy. I don't think we're going to have time for another mission. This didn't go very fast. See what I mean? It's just a waste of a turn. Standing by. It's frustrating, you know. Get up to here. You try and have a good fight, and then it, they just don't want to cooperate. 9% with the Thunderbolts. 13 on this guy. Oh, I'll just fire the LK at him. May I interest you in melting armor? Ooh, one hit. Two hits. Three hits. Quick sell for the win, baby. Let's see what the striker does here. Hopefully he comes back to fight, but I don't think so. We're going to have to chase him down, probably. Yep. Took a little bit of mine damage. Not much. At least he cleared a path for us. Standing by. Alright, keep those LRMs close. This thing is so slow. I think we're going to swap out the, um, I'm going to swap out the, uh, it's not too bad. You know what, his guy's back damage, let's just go after him. We might get him. Um, I'm going to swap out the, uh, pirate bushwhacker for this thing. It's a little faster, I, I feel. I'm here. Move order received. All right. Hope we finish this guy off. Roger. Yep. See ya. Looks like I need a new target. Cloudbuster FTW. There is advantages to order. being slow. Okay. So when do we go? Nineteen. He's going on sixteen. That's the fire truck on 15. When are you going? 15. Okay, let's get into here. Okay. Going We're going to try and push his initiative back here. Put you on. Uh, let's go with the chaff. We're not going to do much here, I don't think. 
let's go after the leg. We might as well. It's got some good stuff in it, so let's try and get those ER pulses if we can. Copy that. Ooh, not bad. Okay, he's back on ten now. Ready for orders. Yeah, the problem is I gotta. Sh I think I can only shoot him in the back here. I don't have much choice. I'm gonna go this way. To cut off his ability to retreat this way. If he tries to come back this way, he's gonna get shredded. I'll leave the thunder. We'll put the thunderbolt on. We're just gonna go all out. I'm gonna switch these though to. Uh, Let's go with EMP. Locked on rear armor. Ooh, the Thunderbolt hit. Yes, Commander. I did not see that coming. Okay, we're just gonna move over here. 64, eh? Just gonna shoot. Roger that. Wow, he hit the ground. Right in front of us. Orders. It's kind of sucky. So sensors are useless. Let's go here. Going full throttle. It's garbage, but we'll take it. Confirmed. I could go inferno, but then there'd be fire everywhere, so Just stay out of that for now. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Yeah, we're not getting this one. What do you need? We'll go with Junker last. Let's get you up there. I want to be out of the... Well, it doesn't matter. Out of the trees is better, I think. But if we're sprinting, it's negating the being out of the trees anyway, the bonus. But we're a little closer here, so it might help out a bit. 54 is pretty good with the uh, Thunderbolts. We'll fire. Thunderbolt hit. AC hit. Everything hit, pretty much. I'm out of long range missiles. Yep. Okay. Let's do this. Hopefully I can get you ahead of everybody. I'll put you right there. Not sure where this guy's gonna take off to, but he will go somewhere. Oh, I can't use the uh Alright, well that's fine. Let's turn this up to six then. Let's go four. We'll get more hits. Firing. Scored a critical hit. Okay, nice. All right, see what he does. It's a melee attack. It looks like. Yep. Like why? Honestly, I, I don't understand the tactics of the lambs. I don't. I don't even see what's happening here. minimal damage. Okay, I don't I have no idea what he did. Nothing it looks like. Maybe he dropped a bomb or something? What I don't do know. Need? Okay, I can get on this side of him again. Because that's where his leg is damaged. I mean, he's pretty cool looking. Don't get me wrong. Lambs are really cool looking. But I missed the old, like the Phoenix Hawk lamb that we had that we could jump like almost half the map board. And I granted it cranked the heat up, but I'm taking this it was it, it made the dynamic interesting. Like I don't see any advantage to f piloting a lamb at this point. I mean, I can I can be convinced. Please convince me. But I, I don't know. I don't see any point in piloting one. Like, I mean, you're flying, so okay, you're, you can avoid flamers and stuff like that, but then you're more visible, right? So more people can see you across the map board and shoot at you, which they probably will, because I find when you have expensive mechs, they shoot at them all the time. And the lamb is a pretty expensive mech. So it'll be constantly target, targeted when most of your other guys can't be seen. So that's a, that's a detriment. Now, I can care, I think, I'm pretty sure there's some pretty good hard points for it. But a lot of them rely on you being close to the enemy, which means you got to fly in like this. But now that, I, that this mech is this close, unless he fly... Once again, I don't know what he's doing. For he pretty much committed suicide there, so I don't know. 
let's just go here. See if we can get this leg. All right. Wow, you really don't want to hit this guy, huh? Reporting critical hit. Waiting for orders. Ah, oh, well, you can't do too much. Let's go to here. Location confirmed. Take the shot with the double AC. I'm going to turn these off because they're going to scatter everywhere, but we will put the bolt-on rockets on. That's a pretty good chance to hit him. Ow. There's a lot of pain for you. Standing by. Okay, that goes outside the AC's range. We're just going to fire. Ah, yeah, there's the kill. Target neutral. Well, there you go. Mission successful. So I don't know if the the lamb being in that lance kind of bloated the uh, value of it. You know what I mean? So that it was like, yeah, we got some half decent experience out of this one. Vision got some good XP. Um, you know what I mean? Like it bloated the value of the lance so that it put in a lot of other garbage. So we got a full lamb here. We could get. I could just take that and try to assemble it. Lamb hard part. We got one ER medium pulse. AR 12 sheath beacon. These things are great. Yeah, not a lot else down here. Vehicular DNI. I had one of these before and I keep forgetting to use it. It's just always. How much is that worth though? 300,000. Like nothing. I'm going to take... Ooh, laser insulators. Let's take the... Um, let's take the full lamb. Because I'm going to assemble it. We've already got one of these. These are actually kind of they're really nice weapons. Because of the range and everything. AR-12 is nice. But I think I'm going to take a laser insulator. It's going to open up some options for builds. We've already got a bunch of these. We got six of them already. We just need the heatsink kit, right? So let's take that. We got a, two Pegasus parts, striker part, lamb hard point, LRM 10. Actually, the lamb hard point. You know what? I don't know. Let's hang on to it for now. LRM 10. We got a couple. I'm gonna sell that one. We'll keep this for sure. Armor can go. Basic cockpit can go. Standard fire control systems can go. Improved jump jets, they weigh more, but you can jump farther. Let's hang on to those. I might get some use out of those. I, I mean, I'm not using a bunch of jump jets, but prototype double heatsink, excellent. That can go, that can go. LRM ammo, we've got a lot of, right? we got two. Plus, we got specialty ammo, so we don't really need it. SRM ammo, I think, can go. Yeah, so we made a bit of coin off that. That's not too bad. All right, so like nothing in repairs. The LRM was the thing that did the most damage to all of us. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the mech bay real quick here. So that lamb, it's 40 tonner. Let's go to storage. I don't know, maybe... It's the wrong playthrough for the lamb, so we're just going to assemble it and get rid of it. I, I have to, I can't. I can't keep it, unfortunately. So let's just ready it. Different playthrough for sure, but not this one. Okay, so let's see what comes in this thing. Not a lot. Lamb aluminum armor. Tonnage point nine five. Lamb XL engine. Well, that's not bad. How much is that worth? Eight hundred. That's garbage. It should be worth a lot more than that. Tag barrage. I mean, and the core. So we didn't do too bad, I guess, if we repair. Oh, we got a wing hard point. Barrage. XL. This is built in, isn't it? Oh, it's not. <gasps> no. We just got ourselves a uh, prototype double heatsink kit. Oh, that opens up a lot of possibilities now for a build. 
Can somebody scream lasers? So we got a vehicle DNI built straight into this thing. AR-12 built straight into this thing. Lamb structure is quarter to or a point four ton. So I mean, with the engine core, we got twelve tons of weight. Weapon specialist slot. Lamb hard point. So what does that mean? How do I use those? So does that mean I could put like weapons anywhere on here? If I have a lamb hard point, but if I take the lamb hard point off, right, can I put, no, that's, okay, that makes perfect sense. So lamb hard points in a specialist slot means you can use lamb weapons. Cool. That makes a lot of sense. So then if you've got the, where is it here? Uh, that's another lamb hard point. So that adds another one. Lamb weapons bay. Goes anywhere, I guess. And you can put some kind of lamb weapon in there. Doesn't matter what it is. Uses up a ton. Cool. That makes a lot of sense to me. I like how they designed this. But like I said, I just wish it was... Because the movement here is 5.7. And it's like, why bother? You know, you're you're up higher so everybody can see you and you're not really getting any advantages for it. Other than the, the coolness factor, it's kind of cool, but I mean, sure. Maybe we'll play around with this. I think, I, I think you can do a lamb start. I think that's actually a potential start. So maybe we mess around with that after this series is done. All right, let's get rid of that. We're just going to sell this, though, for this series, unfortunately. Hate to say it, but we'll get all the stuff off that, and we'll get 123000 off that, too. All right, so we got a prototype double heat sink which, kit, which means this... We got 17 hard points on this guy. I still think we should do a rotary build on this, but that means we could probably turn the uh, Storm Crow, which has got, what, nine laser hard points? We could turn this into a laser vomit build. I mean, this mech is kind of built for it anyway, right? That could be a that could be interesting. It would have to be a lot of smaller weapons, though. Like the like we got, you know, the the clan heavy improved uh, medium lasers, things like that, right? So we I I, we, I got to think about it, but I think that's the kind of that, that's what we would do. We would turn this guy into the. Uh, the um, fire suppression mech. This guy we can put like a single AC on it, rather than the rather than the uh, rotary, and then this guy would be laser vomit. This guy and then the bushwhacker, 55 ton bushwhacker with all those um, missile hard points. We we'll replace the Talos, turn it into a missile boat. Like we could turn this guy into like a an AC arm, and then the five. Or six missile hard points could be rocket points. Or four, like, four rocket 20s and something. You know, like an like a SRM-6 or something like that. Something really nasty, you know. And, like, uh, one ballistic hard point could be... I don't know, maybe it's the pirate AC-5. I don't know, we, we'll have to figure it out. Anyway, but I'm going to leave this episode here. Fortunately, we didn't get to do what I wanted to do. But I think what I'm going to do next episode, I know this one's really short. We'll, uh, we're going to go past, we're going to go past the financial report. Unfortunately, I was going to take that one difficult mission, but we're only two days away. So we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, these missions have been short. I'm going to try and take a, a tougher one next, step, next uh, episode. I was really hoping this one was going to be tougher at two skulls, but you never know. All right, end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below and check out the Quick Sell site. Until next time, we'll see you later.